truth. Uh, so, I, you know, I might as well just go off. I might as well just mention the uh, presidential election just now, because you just briefly in this case, because um, I think I might want to cover that and it's a completely separate video. But so far, uh, <laughs> a lot of things have been going on with that. Um, <laughs> I th just sorry, folks. It's just I'm just it's just completely uh, what's the word? Like, gobsmacked of what's been going on for the past couple of days with this. Uh, you know, a lot of people were expecting Trump to win for the second term, but then, of course, more uh, votes came in on the last minute. And then, of course, I think it was either yesterday or the day before, the mainstream media then decided to just go all out <laughs> just and announce that Joe Biden is the 46th president of the United States, despite the fact the votes are still being counted, and of course, it's going to be bring into the Supreme Court for investigation, and <laughs> just completely, uh, that's going to be an absolute shit show. Let's, <laughs> I really can't wait for the results of that. I mean, I, I really don't know what's going to happen at this point. It can go either way. Um, it could either go to Joe Biden, who's definitely going to be the 46th president, or it could go back to Trump, and he will get his second term. But I think with that is let's just kind of wait and see. Let's do that approach for now. Uh, I know there's a lot of people within the right who are very concerned about this and are very worried about this. You know, with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris being in the White House, which look, I can understand that. I really can understand that. Uh, even with me, I'm kind of a bit concerned about it myself at this point. But if let's say worst case scenario, right? Let's say for example, if Joe Biden is definitely the president. And let's also imagine that Kamala Harris is def definitely going to be the vice president, which, let's be honest here, I think he's going to be the main president, you know, when it comes to Joe Biden and his age. But let's just not, let's just pretend for, for a minute that's going to happen in that case. You know, if, yeah, it's going to be really concerning. It's going to be really worrying times for the next four years. But again, I'm not going to try and be the whole doom and gloom approach to it. I think let's just try to have a more positive outcome with this from now up until the next election. Who knows? But best case scenario, if Trump does take this to the Supreme Court and then it gets overturned and he actually does win those states and he becomes the president for the second time, I mean, I would say that would be much better than Joe Biden, but again... Then there will be people coming out and saying, well, what about the riots? Which, of course, we know that's going to happen anyway. And I think many people are concerned that it's going to be even completely worse than the Black Lives Matter riots that happened back in the summer. But look, I think from now up until whatever news comes out about that, we'll just need to wait and see what happens from there. Because ultimately speaking, we don't know. We don't know whether or not if Biden is going to be the, the president or... Uh, you know, Trump's going to remain president. I don't know. But let's just put a wait-and-see approach. And and ultimately speaking, let's try to be very optimistic. You know, let's just have a, a very positive outlook in this. You know, let's try not to be all doom and gloom with that in this case. Uh, I think a couple of people in the chat just came in. Aunt Sally. Hello, Aunt Sally. How are you doing? Uh, let's see. Mike Honk. Hello, Chief Moody. He's not one, by the way. I know him. Cause, but it's just, it's, I, th I think it's, it's to do with Joe Biden. I know he hasn't won, but the media, there's <laughs> just, uh, everyone, even uh, public officials like Boris Johnson and uh, what's his name, the Israeli Prime Minister, is it Benjamin Netanyahu, I think you pronounce it. Uh, <laughs> uh, talk about people that have just stabbed you in the, in, in the back. It's it's absolutely shameful, but at the same time, the, the 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 fact of what they're doing is absolutely just completely. They they just don't care. They're just going to go out of their way and claim that Joe Biden is is the president or president elect when they're trying to make it out in this case. But again, I have a good feeling about this whole Supreme Court judges, but again, only time will tell. So. I'm not going to be all doom and gloom with it. Even if worst case scenario, as I said, if, if Biden wins completely, 
then, you know, again, was trying to have a more positive outlook on it. Because, again, when it comes to, like, the the, uh, the the far right in this case, or or at least on our side, you know, like PA and whatnot, we're going to do everything we can to get ourselves out there. And you know, we should never give up whatsoever in this case. Uh, Mike Honk again, mainstream media are shit, and Bojo is a communist. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, of course. I mean, uh, let's be honest here. I wasn't entirely that surprised with... Boris Johnson congratulating fucking Joe Biden when it comes to that tweet. Uh, because again, as as shameful for me to admit, but I was, you know, a staunch supporter of of uh Boris Johnson. This is way back when I was at Sivna back in December of last year. Uh completely on board with it. I was just like, oh, I'm gonna support Boris. But then I think news came out that he, of course, wanted to bring in more migrants into the country. One was like, well, wait a minute, I'm not a favorite. I'm not completely a fan of that. But but then what happens? So, of course, now Boris Johnson is an absolute joke. <laughs> but, you know, like, what, what can you do in this, in this case? Hey there, this is Chief Moody. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, then you know what to do. Hit that like button, comment down below, share this video, and if you're new to the channel, maybe hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more content. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. This is Chief Moody signing out, and I will see you all next time. Take care.